you mentioned Aaron Rodgers in the Jets, and I don't know if, if we're on the same page, but it feels like it might be day two of the draft. Can can the can the Jets hold off giving the first round pick this year and then say we'll give you a second round pick this year and then a first round next year to the Packers and then this is completed? I think the only thing they agree on for now, Dan, is that the pick this year would be one of the two second rounders the Jets currently have. Back to back from the Elijah Moore trade to Cleveland. They've got back to back picks, I think 43 and 44. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what do the Packers get in 2024? What do the Jets get in 2025 if Aaron Rodgers were to retire after only one season? I think that's part of this equation as okay. well. And because we're so close to the second day of the draft now, there's no reason for either side to move to their bottom line now. They wait until the last minute, the plane lands, they find a way to make their two positions meet. And I've said the over-under is 6 o'clock Eastern, Friday the 28th. There's a chance they get it worked out late afternoon just to be done. Yeah. There's also a chance it happens when the pick in round two that's going to the Packers is actually on the clock, that if the trade occurs during round two of the draft. Okay, so we're on the same page, that this first-round pick for the Jets is not going to Green Bay. Not going to Green Bay. Okay. But it'll be the, a second-round pick or maybe a couple of picks. But there has to be some kind of conditional language in here, as you mentioned, with Rodgers. Because, like, I'd, I'd still have trepidation to find the Jets. This is a guy who said he was 90% retired before he went into the dark hole. And now you're going to give up a second-round pick and then a first-round pick or whatever it might be. But I'm going to guess that kind of language will be in this transaction. Well, yes, that's what the Jets are trying to protect themselves against. And look, there's a chance that Aaron Rodgers wasn't telling the truth when he said he was 90% retired, because it's part of this broader narrative that I was just going to walk off into the sunset. I thought the Packers wanted me back. And then I heard that they were shopping me. And that's when everything changed. It makes for a great story, regardless of whether or not it's true. This 90% thing may have just been him trying to fashion a greater myth than what reality would support. And the consequence is it's freaked out the Jets to the point where they're concerned he's going to be one and done in New York. And when Tom Brady first joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, one of the greatest business objectives of ownership was make sure he comes back for another year, make sure he comes back. And I think the Jets will bend over backwards to try to make sure there's a second year for Aaron Rodgers. And the Jets want that protection in 25 in the event that Rodgers is one and done. And who knows? We didn't expect Favre to be one and done with the Jets, and he was.